The territory of Heard Island and Macdonald Islands abbreviated as HIMI is an Australian external territory comprising a volcanic group of barren Antarctic islands, about two-thirds of the way from Madagascar to Antarctica. The group S overall size is 372 square kilometers, 144 square miles in area and it has 101.9 kilometers, 63 miles of coastline. Discovered in the mid 19th century, the islands have been an Australian territory since 1947 and contain the country. S only two active volcanoes. The summit of one, Mawson Peak, is higher than any mountain on the Australian mainland. The islands lie on the Kerguelen Plateau in the Indian Ocean. The islands are among the most remote places on Earth. They are located approximately 4,099 kilometers (2,547 miles) southwest of Perth, 3,845 kilometers (2,389 miles) southwest of Cape Leeuwin, Australia, 4,200 kilometers (2,600 miles) southeast of South Africa, 3,830 kilometers (2,380 miles) southeast of Madagascar, 1,630 kilometers. Kilometers 1010 miles north of Antarctica and 450 kilometers 280 miles southeast of the Kerguelen Islands the islands are currently uninhabited topic geography topic Heard Island, by far the largest of the group, is a 368 square kilometer, 142 square miles, bleak and mountainous island located at 53 degrees 06 S 73 degrees 31 E. Its mountains are covered by 41 glaciers. The island is 80% covered with ice and dominated by Mawson Peak, a 2,745 meter high, 9,006 feet complex volcano which forms part of the Big Bend Massif. A July 2000 satellite image from the University of Hawaii's Institute of Geophysics and Planetology HIGP thermal alert team showed an active 2 km long 1.2 miles and 50 to 90 meter wide 164 to 295 feet lava flow trending southwest from the summit of Big Ben. The McDonald Islands are located 44 kilometers 27 miles to the west of Hurt Island at 53 degrees 02 20 S 72 degrees 36 04 E. The islands are small and rocky. In 1980 they consisted of McDonald Island 186 meters 610 feet high, Flat Island 55 meters 180 feet high and Meyer Rock 170 meters 560 feet high. They totaled approximately 2.5 square kilometers 1.0 square miles in area, where McDonald Island was 1.13 square kilometers 0.4 square miles. There is a small group of islets and rocks about 10 kilometers 6 miles north of Heard Island, consisting of Shag Islet, Sail Rock, Morgan Island and Black Rock. They total about 1.1 square kilometers 0.4 square miles in area. Mawson Peak and McDonald Island are the only two active volcanoes in Australian territory. Mawson Peak is also one of the highest Australian mountains higher than Mount Kosciuszko, surpassed only by Mount McClintock Range in the Antarctic Territory. Mawson Peak has erupted several times in the last decade, the most recent eruption was filmed on 2 February 2016. The volcano on McDonald Island, after being dormant for 75,000 years, became active in 1992 and has erupted several times since. The most recent in 2005, Heard Island and the McDonald Islands have no ports or harbors, ships must anchor offshore. The coastline is 101.9 kilometers, 63.3 miles, and a 12 nautical mile, 22 kilometers, 14 miles territorial sea and 200 nautical mile, 370 kilometers, 230 miles exclusive fishing zone are claimed. Topic: <laughs> Climate. Topic: The islands have an Antarctic climate tempered by their maritime setting. The weather is marked by low seasonal and daily temperature ranges, persistent and generally low cloud cover, frequent precipitation and strong winds. Snowfall occurs throughout the year. 
Monthly average temperatures at Atlas Cove at the northwestern end of Heard Island range from 0.0 to 4.2 degrees Celsius (32.0 to 39.6 degrees Fahrenheit), with an average daily range of 3.7 to 5.2 degrees Celsius (38.7 to 41.4 degrees Fahrenheit) in summer and -0.8 to 0.3 degrees Celsius (30.6 to 32.5 degrees Fahrenheit) in winter. The winds are predominantly westerly and persistently strong. At Atlas Cove, monthly average wind speeds range between around 26 to 33.5 km per hour 16.2 to 20.8 miles per hour. Gusts in excess of 180 km per hour 110 miles per hour have been recorded. Annual precipitation at sea level on Heard Island is in the order of 1,300 to 1,900 mm 51.2 to 74.8 in, rain or snow falls on about 3 out of 4 days, meteorological records at Heard Island are incomplete. Flora Constraints. Topic. The islands are part of the southern Indian Ocean Islands tundra ecoregion that includes several subantarctic islands. In this cold climate plant life is mainly limited to grasses, lichens, and mosses. Low plant diversity reflects the island's isolation, small size, severe climate, the short, cool growing season and, for Heard Island, substantial permanent ice cover. The main environmental determinants of vegetation on subantarctic islands are wind exposure, water availability, parent soil composition, salt spray exposure, nutrient availability, disturbance by trampling from seabirds and seals, and, possibly, altitude. At Heard Island, exposure to salt spray and the presence of breeding and molting seabirds and seals are particularly strong influences on vegetation composition and structure in coastal areas. History Evidence from microfossil records indicates that ferns and woody plants were present on Heard Island during the Tertiary a period with a cool and moist climate. Neither group of plants is present today, although potential Tertiary survivors include the vascular plant Pringley antiscorbutica and six moss species. Volcanic activity has altered the distribution and abundance of the vegetation. The vascular flora covers a range of environments and, although only six species are currently widespread, glacial retreat and the consequent connection of previously separate ice-free areas is providing opportunities for further distribution of vegetation into adjacent areas. <laughs> Flowering plants and ferns Low-growing herbaceous flowering plants and bryophytes are the major vegetation components. The vascular flora comprises the smallest number of species of any major subantarctic island group, reflecting its isolation, small ice-free area and severe climate. Twelve vascular species are known from Heard Island, of which five have also been recorded on McDonald Island. None of the vascular species is endemic, although Pringley antiscorbutica, Colobanthus kergulensis, and Poa kergulensis occur only on subantarctic islands in the southern Indian Ocean. The plants are typically subantarctic, but with a higher abundance of the cushion forming Azorella salago than other subantarctic islands. Heard Island is the largest subantarctic island with no confirmed human introduced plants. Areas available for plant colonization on Heard Island are generally the result of retreating glaciers or new ice free land created by lava flows. Today, substantial vegetation covers over 20 square kilometers of Heard Island, and is best developed on coastal areas at elevations below 250 meters. <laughs> Mosses and liverworts Bryophytes mosses and liverworts contribute substantially to the overall biodiversity of Heard Island, with 43 mosses and 19 liverworts being recorded, often occupying habitats unsuitable for vascular plants, such as cliff faces. Bryophytes are present in most of the major vegetation communities including several soil and moss inhabiting species. A 1980 survey of McDonald Island found lower diversity than that on Heard Island, four mosses and a number of algal species are recorded from there. Algae 
At least 100 species of terrestrial algae are known from Heard Island, commonly in permanently moist and ephemeral habitats. Forests of the giant Antarctic kelp Dervillaea antarctica occur at a number of sites around Heard Island and at least 17 other species of seaweed are known, with more to be added following the identification of recent collections. Low seaweed diversity is due to the island's isolation from other land masses, unsuitable beach habitat, constant abrasion by waves, tides and small stones, and the extension of glaciers into the sea in many areas. Topic vegetation communities Topic Heard Island has a range of terrestrial environments in which vegetation occurs. Seven general vegetation communities are currently recognized, although vegetation composition is considered more of a continuum than discrete units. Subantarctic vegetation is minimal and includes small types of shrubbery, including mosses and liverworts. Open cushionfield vegetation is the most widespread and abundant vegetation type on Heard Island. It is characterized by Azorella salago cushions interspersed with bryophytes, small vascular species and bare ground with 20–75% cover, and found mainly at altitudes between 30–70 to 70 meters ASL. Fellfield describes vegetation with abundant bare ground and less than 50% plant cover. Fellfield may occur as a result of harsh climatic and or edaphic factors, or recent deglaciation which has exposed bare ground. Mossy Fellfield is a community with high species richness and consists of bryophytes and small Azorella salago cushions. It is found at altitudes between 30 to 150 meters in areas with intermediate exposure. Wet mixed herb field occurs on moist substrate, mostly on moraines and moist lee slopes, often in association with burrowing petrels colonies at low altitude. Coastal biotic vegetation is dominated by POA cookie and Azorella salago, occurring mainly on coastal sites of moderate exposure and in areas subject to significant influence from seals and seabirds. Salt spray vegetation is dominated by the salt tolerant moss Mulariella crassifolia and limited in extent, being found at low elevations on Lalas in exposed coastal sites. Closed cushionfield is found on moraines and sand at altitudes mostly below 60 meters, and is dominated almost entirely by Azorella salago cushions that often grow together to form continuous carpets which can be subject to burrowing by seabirds. Topic outlook Topic One of the most rapidly changing physical settings in the subantarctic has been produced on Heard Island by a combination of rapid glacial recession and climate warming. The consequent increase in habitat available for plant colonization, plus the coalescing of previously discrete ice-free areas, has led to marked changes in the vegetation of Heard Island in the last 20 years or so. Other species and vegetation communities found on subantarctic islands north of the Antarctic Convergence now absent from the Heard Island flora may colonize the island if climate change produces more favorable conditions. Some plant species are spreading and modifying the structure and composition of communities, some of which are also increasing in distribution. It is likely that further changes will occur, and possibly at an accelerated rate. Changes in population numbers of seal and seabird species are also expected to affect the vegetation by changing nutrient availability and disturbance through trampling. One plant species on Heard Island, POA annua, a cosmopolitan grass native to Europe, was possibly introduced by humans, though is more likely to have arrived naturally, probably by skuas from the Kerguelen Islands where it is widespread. It was initially recorded in 1987 in two deglaciated areas of Heard Island not previously exposed to human visitors, while being absent from known sites of past human habitation. Since 1987 POA annua populations have increased in density and abundance within the original areas and have expanded beyond them. Expeditioner boot traffic during the Australian Antarctic Programme expedition in 1987 may be at least partly responsible for the spread, but it is probably mainly due to dispersal by wind and the movement of seabirds and seals around the island. The potential for introducing plant species, including invasive species not previously found on subantarctic islands, by both natural and human-induced means is high. This is due to the combination of low species diversity and climatic amelioration. During the 2003–04 summer a new plant species, Catula plumosa, was recorded. Only one small specimen was found growing on a coastal river terrace that had experienced substantial development and expansion of vegetation over the past decade. The species has a circumantarctic distribution and occurs on many subantarctic islands. Fungi. 
71 species of lichens have been recorded from Heard Island and they are common on exposed rock, dominating the vegetation in some areas. As with plants, a 1980 survey of McDonald Island found lower diversity there, with just eight lichen species and a number of non-lichenized fungi recorded. Fauna <laughs> 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 The main indigenous animals are insects along with large populations of ocean-going seabirds, seals and penguins. Mammals Sealing at Heard Island lasted from 1855 to 1910, during which time 67 sealing vessels are recorded visiting, nine of which were wrecked off the coast. Relics that survive from that time include tripods, casks, hut ruins, graves and inscriptions. This caused the seal populations there to either become locally extinct or reduced to levels too low to exploit economically. Modern sealers visited from Cape Town in the 1920s. Since then the populations have generally increased and are protected. Seals breeding on herd include the southern elephant seal, the Antarctic fur seal and the subantarctic fur seal. Leopard seals visit regularly in winter to haul out though they do not breed on the islands. Crabeater, Ross and Weddell seals are occasional visitors. <inaudible> Birds Heard Island and the McDonald Islands are free from introduced predators and provide crucial breeding habitat in the middle of the vast southern ocean for a range of birds. The surrounding waters are important feeding areas for birds and some scavenging species also derive sustenance from their cohabitants on the islands. The islands have been identified by BirdLife International as an important bird area because they support very large numbers of nesting seabirds. Nineteen species of birds have been recorded as breeding on Heard Island and the McDonald Islands, although recent volcanic activity at the McDonald Islands in the last decade is likely to have reduced vegetated and unvegetated nesting areas. Penguins are by far the most abundant birds on the islands, with four breeding species present, comprising king, gentoo, macaroni, and eastern rockhopper penguins. The penguins mostly colonize the coastal tussock and grasslands of Heard Island, and have previously been recorded as occupying the flats and gullies on McDonald Island. Other seabirds recorded as breeding at Heard Island include three species of albatross wandering, black-browed and light-mantled albatrosses, southern giant petrels, cape petrels, four species of burrowing petrels Antarctic and fulmar prions, common and south Georgian diving petrels, Wilson storm petrels, kelp gulls, subantarctic skuas, Antarctic terns and the herd shag. Although not a true seabird, the Heard Island subspecies of the black-faced sheathbill also breeds on the island. Both the shag and the sheathbill are endemic to Heard Island. A further 28 seabird species are recorded as either non-breeding visitors or have been noted during at-sea surveys of the islands. All recorded breeding species, other than the Heard Island sheathbill, are listed marine species under the Australian Environmental Protection and Biodiversity Act 1999. Four are listed as threatened species and five are listed migratory species. Under the EPBC Act a recovery plan has been made for albatrosses and giant petrels, which calls for ongoing population monitoring of the species found at Himi, and at the time of preparing this plan a draft recovery plan has also been made for the Heard Island cormorant or shag and Antarctic tern. The recorded populations of some seabird species found in the reserve have shown marked change. The king penguin population is the best studied seabird species on Heard Island and has shown a dramatic increase since first recorded in 1947-48, with the population doubling every five years or so for more than 50 years. A paper reviewing population data for the black-browed albatross between 1947 and 2001 suggested that the breeding population had increased to approximately three times that present in the late 1940s, although a Convention for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources CCAMLR working group was cautious about the interpretation of the increasing trend given the disparate nature of the data, as discussed in the paper. The discovery of a large, previously unknown, colony of herd shags in 2001 at Cape Pillar raised the known breeding population from 200 pairs to over 1,000 pairs. The breeding population of southern giant petrels decreased by more than 50% between the early 1950s and the late 1980s. <laughs> Terrestrial, freshwater and coastal invertebrates 
Topic. Heard Island supports a relatively low number of terrestrial invertebrate species compared to other southern ocean islands, in parallel with the low species richness in the flora that is, the island's isolation and limited ice-free area. Endemism is also generally low and the invertebrate fauna is exceptionally pristine with few, if any, successful human-induced introductions of alien species. Two species, including the Thrip apterothrips apterus and the mite Tyrophagus putrescentiae are thought to be recent, possibly natural, introductions. An exotic species of earthworm Dendrodrilus rubidus was also collected in 1929 from a dump near Atlas Cove, and has recently been collected from a variety of habitats including wallows, streams and lakes on Heard Island. The arthropods of Heard Island are comparatively well known with 54 species of mite and tick, one spider and eight springtails recorded. A study over summer at Atlas Cove in 1987-88 showed overall densities of up to 60,000 individual springtails per square meter in soil under stands of Pringley antiscorbutica. Despite a few recent surveys, the non-arthropod invertebrate fauna of Heard Island remain poorly known. Beetles and flies dominate Heard Island's known insect fauna, which comprises up to 21 species of ectoparasite associated with birds and seals and up to 13 free-living species. Approximately half of the free-living insects are habitat-specific, while the remainder are generalists found in a variety of habitats, being associated with either supralittoral or intertidal zones, POA cookie and Pringley antiscorbutica stands, bryophytes, lichen-covered rocks, exposed rock faces or the underside of rocks. There is a pronounced seasonality to the insect fauna, with densities in winter months dropping to a small percentage between 0.75% of the summer maximum. Distinct differences in relative abundances of species between habitats has also been shown, including a negative relationship between altitude and body size for herd island weevils. The fauna of the freshwater pools, lakes, streams and mires found in the coastal areas of herd island are broadly similar to those on other subantarctic islands of the southern Indian Ocean. Many species reported from herd island are found elsewhere. Some sampling of freshwater fauna has been undertaken during recent expeditions and records to date indicate that the freshwater fauna includes a species of protista, a gastrotrich, two species of tardigrade, at least four species of nematode, 26 species of rotifer, six species of annelid and 14 species of arthropod. As with the other shore biota, the marine macroinvertebrate fauna of Heard Island is similar in composition and local distribution to other subantarctic islands, although relatively little is known about the Heard Island communities compared with the well-studied fauna of some other islands in the subantarctic region, such as Macquarie and Kerguelen. Despite Heard Island's isolation, species richness is considered to be moderate, rather than depauperate, although the number of endemic species reported is low. The large macro-alga Dervillaea antarctica supports a diverse array of invertebrate taxa and may play an important role in transporting some of this fauna to Heard Island. The rocky shores of Heard Island exhibit a clear demarcation between fauna of the lower kelp holfast zone and the upper shore zone community, probably due to effects of desiccation, predation and freezing in the higher areas. The limpet Nachella kergulensis is abundant in the lower part of the shore, being found on rock surfaces and on kelp holfasts. Other common but less abundant species in this habitat include the chitin hemiarthrum setulosum and the starfish Anisterias mossoni. The amphipod Hyalli sp, and the isopod Cassidinopsis sp, are closely associated with the kelp. Above the kelp holfast zone, the litternid Laevelatorina corneolitorina hirdensis and the bivalve mollusk Kitteria bicolor are found in well-sheltered situations, and another bivalve Gamardia trapezina trapezina has been recorded from immediately above the holfast zone. Oligocatas are also abundant in areas supporting porous and spongy layers of algal mat. Topic. Wetlands. Topic. Heard Island has a number of small wetland sites scattered around its coastal perimeter, including areas of wetland vegetation, lagoons or lagoon complexes, rocky shores and sandy shores, including the Elephant Spit. Many of these wetland areas are separated by active glaciers. There are also several short glacier-fed streams and glacial pools. Some wetland areas have been recorded on McDonald Island but, due to substantial volcanic activity since the last landing was made in 1980, their present extent is unknown. 
The Himi wetland is listed on the Directory of Important Wetlands in Australia and, in a recent analysis of Commonwealth managed wetlands, was ranked highest for nomination under the Convention on Wetlands of International Importance especially as Waterfowl Habitat Ramsar Convention as an internationally important wetland. Six wetland types have been identified from Himi covering approximately 1,860 hectares, coastal pool complex 237 hectares, inland pool complex 105 hectares, vegetated seeps mostly on recent glaciated areas 18 hectares, glacial lagoons 1,103 hectares, non-glacial lagoons 97 hectares, elephant spit 300 hectares plus some coastal areas. On Heard Island, the majority of these type suites are found below 150 meters ASL. The wetland vegetation occurs in the wet mixed herb field and coastal biotic vegetation communities described above. The wetlands provide important breeding and feeding habitat for a number of Antarctic and subantarctic wetland animals. These include the southern elephant seal and macaroni, gentoo, king and southern rockhopper penguins, considered to be wetland species under the Ramsar Convention. Non-wetland vegetated parts of the islands also support penguin and other seabird colonies. History Neither island cluster had recorded visitors until the mid-1850s. Peter Kemp, a British sailor, may have become the first person to see the island. On 27 November 1833, he spotted it from the Brig Magnet during a voyage from the Kerguelen Islands to the Antarctic and was believed to have entered the island on his 1833 chart. An American sailor, Captain John Hurd, on the ship Oriental, sighted Hurd Island on 25 November 1853, en route from Boston to Melbourne. He reported the discovery one month later and had the island named after him. Captain William MacDonald aboard the Samarang discovered the nearby MacDonald Islands six weeks later, on 4 January 1854. No landing took place on the islands until March 1855, when sealers from the Corinthian, led by Captain Erasmus Darwin Rogers, went ashore at a place called Oil Barrel Point. In the sailing period from 1855 to 1880 a number of American sealers spent a year or more on the island, living in appalling conditions in dark smelly huts, also at Oil Barrel Point. At its peak the community consisted of 200 people. By 1880 sealers had wiped out most of the seal population and then left the island. In all the islands furnished more than 100,000 barrels of elephant seal oil during this period. A number of wrecks have occurred in the vicinity of the islands. There is also a discarded building left from John Hurd's sealing station which is situated near Atlas Cove. The first recorded landing on Macdonald Island was made by Australian scientists Graham Budd and Hugh Thelander on 12 February 1971, using a helicopter. The islands have been a territory of Australia since 1947, when they were transferred from the UK the archipelago became a World Heritage Site in 1997. Several amateur radio operators have visited Heard, often associated with scientific expeditions. The first activity there was in 1947 by Alan Campbell Drury. Amateur radio D expeditions to the island took place in 1983 and January 1997. Another expedition began operation on the 23rd of March 2016 organized by Cordell Expeditions in 1991. The islands were the location for the Heard Island feasibility test, an experiment in very long distance transmission of low frequency sound through the ocean. The US Navy vessels MV Cory Choist and Amy Choist were used to transmit signals which could be detected as far away as both ocean coasts of the US and Canada. The Cory Choist was chosen because of its central moon pool and because it was already equipped with an array of low-frequency transmitters. A phase-modulated 57 Hz signal was used. The experiment was successful and demonstrated that such sound waves could travel as far as the antipodes. Planned transmissions had been for 10 days, although owing to the bad weather conditions and the high failure rate of the transmitter elements, used at a frequency below their design frequency, the transmissions were terminated on the sixth day, when only two of the original 10 transducers were still working. Topic. Administration and economy Topic. 
The United Kingdom formally established its claim to Heard Island in 1910, marked by the raising of the Union flag and the erection of a beacon by Captain Evanson, master of the Mangoro. Effective government, administration and control of Heard Island and the Macdonald Islands was transferred to the Australian government on 26 December 1947 at the commencement of the first Australian National Antarctic Research Expedition to Heard Island, with a formal declaration that took place at Atlas Cove. The transfer was confirmed by an exchange of letters between the two governments on 19 December 1950. The islands are a territory, territory of Heard Island and Macdonald Islands of Australia administered from Hobart by the Australian Antarctic Division of the Australian Department of the Environment and Energy. The administration of the territory is established in the Heard Island and Macdonald Islands Act 1953, which places it under the laws of the Australian Capital Territory and the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court of the Australian Capital Territory. The islands are contained within a 65,000 square kilometer, 25,000 square miles marine reserve and are primarily visited for research, meaning that there is no permanent human habitation. From 1947 until 1955, there were camps of visiting scientists on Heard Island at Atlas Cove in the northwest, which was in 1969 again occupied by American scientists and expanded in 1971 by French scientists and in 1971 on McDonald Island at Williams Bay. Later expeditions used a temporary base at Spit Bay in the east, such as in 1988, 1992-93 and 2004-05. The island's only natural resource is fish, the Australian government allows limited fishing in the surrounding waters. Despite the lack of population, the islands have been assigned the country code HUM in ISO 3166-1 ISO 3166-2 HUM and therefore the internet top-level domain, HUM. The time zone of the islands is UTC plus 5. Topic. See also Topic. Australian Antarctic Territory Birds of Heard and Macdonald Islands List of islands of Australia List of Antarctic and Subantarctic Islands Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Commonwealth of Australia 2014. Heard Island and Macdonald Islands Marine Reserve Management Plan 2014-2024, Department of the Environment, Canberra. ISBN 978-1876934-255. Available at http colon slash slash heardisland.antarctica.gov.au slash Australian Government, 2005 Heard Island and Macdonald Islands Marine Reserve Management Plan. Australian Antarctic Division, Kingston TAs. ISBN 1-876934-08-5. Green, Ken and Wooler Eric eds. 2006 Heard Island, Southern Ocean Sentinel. Chipping Norton, Surrey Beatty and Sons. ISBN 9780949324000. Scholes, Arthur, 1949-14 Men, Story of the Australian Antarctic Expedition to Heard Island. Melbourne, F.W. Cheshire Smith, Jeremy, 1986 Specks in the Southern Ocean. Armadale, University of New England Press. ISBN 0 85834 615X. Lemagerier, W. E. and Thompson, J. W. E. D. S. 1990 Volcanoes of the Antarctic Plate and Southern Oceans. American Geophysical Union. ISBN 0 87590 172 7. External links Heard Island and Macdonald Islands official website Map of Heard Island and Macdonald Islands, including all major topographical features World Heritage listing for Heard Island and Macdonald Islands Heard Island and Macdonald Islands The World Factbook. Central Intelligence Agency Heard Island and Macdonald Islands at Curlie Wikimedia Atlas of Heard Island and Macdonald Islands 
Image Gallery of Heard Island and MacDonald Island with high quality limited copyright images. MODIS satellite image, taken 30 September 2004 and showing a von Karman vortex street in the clouds, caused by Mawson Peak's effect on the wind. UNESCO World Heritage Site Entry Fans page at the Wayback Machine archived the 17th of March 2006 with further historical and geographic information and a map Heard Island, the Cordell Expedition 2016